Hey guys, Jesse here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at this pair of God Hand Nippers. Uh, these are GHGN125s, and the reason why I got these is because uh, they were on sale. That's kind of the main reason as to why I got these. But also, uh, these God Hand Nippers that I've been using apparently are for like cleaning up nubs after you already cut it off the sprue. So I thought maybe since these were on sale, I should uh, get these and see if I can... Uh, build kits a little more properly I guess I don't know uh, it, it doesn't seem to be incredibly necessary but uh, considering the price I'm willing to go ahead and give them a try I used to have nippers very similar to these these were my old nippers here uh, I forget what brand these were I'm sure someone can point them out but as you can see the end is very very screwed up uh, at one point I'm pretty sure I used these to cut like uh, paper clips or something for a diorama and I completely like destroyed these nippers but um, sometimes I use these just for like rough cuts or something but in any case uh, yeah these are pretty uh, dead but again these were on super sale so I thought I'd give them a try so let's go ahead and look at the packaging I guess kinda weird a little anime girl here uh, you know looks looks exactly like the packaging for the other god hands uh, you kinda have I guess what is the wrath of God kind of spewing out everywhere from the end of the nipper. Uh, some information here. Uh, ooh, the whole thing's in English. I never actually really took a good look at this. All right, let's read it. Please read instructions before use. Sure. For safety, always wear protective glasses, gloves, and other protective gear. Hmm, I didn't know Gunplow Building was that serious. Cuttings may become projectiles. Well, I guess that's true. Please ensure to use away from other people and fragile objects. Uh, please do not use cutting tool to pry other objects or touch the cutting edge directly. Maybe it's laced with uh, acid or something. Please do not use on items over cutting capacity. That's, you know, that's pretty damn true. Uh, metal wire and similar hard wires are not possible. Very true. For rust prevention, please apply oil to the metal shaft and cutting edge. Hmm. And please keep to our reach of children. So, pretty extreme measures for uh, using these nippers, but I guess some of it's true. As you can see, your the the sort of largest largest gauge they want you to cut is uh, about three millimeters. So, but let's uh, go ahead and get them open. Good all. Japanese packaging, very easy to open stuff. So yeah, pretty similar to these, except the spring doesn't seem to be as uh, intense. So uh, pretty comfortable, the whole grip is very, very soft. And uh, yeah, it looks incredibly sharp. I have no idea if these are like side cutters or if both sides are sharp. Actually, I'm gonna ignore the instructions and touch the cutting edge. So it looks like these are a two-way cutter, so both sides are sharp. So yeah, yeah, so let's compare them to the side cutters. You can kind of tell what I'm talking about with the sharpness there. Only this side of the cutter is sharp and this side is a uh, dull. But I guess in combination these will build you the ultimate gunpla or something. So I'm going to go ahead and um, actually build a kit with these nippers and sort of the process and uh, come back to you guys and, and show you how it went. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so I'm back. And I built the torso unit of this Master Grade Hazel Custom. And I actually built the head and the waist unit and the arms uh, using this sort of process of cutting off the nub with these nippers and cleaning up with the side cutters. And I have to be honest. I only use these uh, nippers for about 10% of my build so far because I've sort of learned this guy's purpose in life, you know, I guess in the Gunpla life. Um, so these guys are really meant for cutting really large gates in order to uh, sort of extend the life of your side cutters because if you cut too many, you can cut large gates with these, but it'll dull the the cutting edge of this a lot faster than it would these and it turns out these cut things pretty roughly I got a piece of running here that I'll show you but I would say that you're gonna want to cut 
gates that are slightly smaller than this part of the runner and anything bigger. So, um, yeah, and this kit, maybe it's just this particular kit, but this particular kit didn't have any super large gates, so I was able to just get away with cutting with these. And when you cut gates that are, you know, I would say average size or smaller with these, you're not going to dull these that quickly. So, uh, just as a demonstration, let's go ahead and cut some runner. I'm going to do a fast cut here and do a slow cut here. We'll take a look. Um, so as you can see, there's your fast cut and there's your slow cut. And as you can see, the slow cut like just completely crushed the part of the runner. And this fast cut isn't by any means smooth. So as you can see, these are not for cutting right up against the piece. You shouldn't do that anyways, even with the side cutter. But um, you're going to have to clean up after using these. But like I said, these are sort of uh, disposable. In, in a way because these cost up to like 60 bucks this cost me 12 bucks and the idea is to again use these to make the most of these and um yeah i mean i are these worth 12 bucks definitely uh these are really really nice nippers they're super comfortable the handle is super soft and it has just the right amount of resistance on it um but that being said you don't have to go out and hunt down god hands to build good gunpla because to be honest these work just as well as those red ones that i showed you if i hadn't trashed those red ones by cutting a paper clip i would still be using those and i would never ever go out of my way to find these um so i would pay around 12 bucks for these i would never pay 20 bucks or even more for these um hell no um but that being said they are really nice you know they they live up to their heritage of being god hands if uh that makes sense so yeah really nice and and just as a side note no matter what uh method or nippers or brand of tools you buy you will always have to go through the process of cleaning up nubs properly you know cutting them cleaning them up with uh, a side cutter or an exacto knife and then sanding off the nub till it's smooth you're never going to get away from that there is no magical solution to nubs and God hand definitely is not that solution. So that being said, I just want to say, I just want I just want to say, say that just, you know, don't, don't think to yourself that buying God hands will automatically make your builds better. That's up to you and doing the correct process. So, um, but anyways, yeah, good nippers, good nippers indeed. And that's all I got for this review and look at these God hands. So thank you all for watching and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.